What's the deal, baby? You already know who it is. The big boss out, boss dog, K Po through the dope. Here to talk to the boxer. Happy New Year to everybody. Y'all be safe. Don't bring in the New Year on the air. Let's bring in the New Year the right way, man. You know, I'm going to be training. So that's how I'm bringing in the New Year. You know, we're going to keep it at Thou Wow. But anyway, in my opinion, no sources, no websites, no nothing. No, 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 nobody told me this. Nothing. Terrence Crawford strategically ducked El Spence because he know he knew that El Spence would have to fight his mandatories, and Terrence Crawford is hoping that El Spence loses to one of his mandatories. And if he loses to a mandatory, like a Keith Thurman, like a Standing Onus, he's gonna quickly accept that fight. Let me explain myself. Now, hear me out. Terrence Crawford and L. Spence were negotiating for six months, right? While they were negotiating, Terrence Crawford was also talking to Black Prime, right? Terrence Crawford admitted that. Okay, this is something he said on his Instagram Live, okay? So he admitted that he'd been talking to Black Prime TV, you know, by working with them, right? I, I think <laughs> that Terrence Crawford Pulled out of a fight with Earl Spence. And the, well, I'm gonna say fight because the fight wasn't signed. Negotiations of a fight. That's the proper terminology. With Earl Spence. Because he had the foresight that Earl Spence had to fight his mandatories. So his thing is he don't want to fight Earl Spence. Why? Because Earl Spence, out of all the fighters, has the higher chance of beating him. Or making Bud not look invincible. See, Bud and Canelo got something in common. They like to fight lesser competition so they can look like they just invincible, indestructible. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to fight against another top guy. They don't want to do that. They don't want to get in that ring with another killer. They want to fight guys that, that are easy, easy style matchups for them. So they can get in there and, you know, look like they sparring. You know what I'm saying? But that's what Bud is hoping. Bud is hoping that Earl Spence loses to one of his mandatories. Now, there's one mandatory that he is hoping that Earl Spence will lose to, but he's not going to fight him. And that's Jan Boos Ennis. You may be asking, why, boss? Why? It doesn't make sense. Why would he not fight Boots Ennis? Why would he want Earl Spence to lose to Boots Ennis, but he won't fight him? Because it's, easily, it's easy for him to articulate I don't need to fight him. He young. It's easy for him to say that. He hasn't He hasn't fought those names in the sport. It's easy for him to say stuff like that. He can't say that with Errol. That's why he got to go back to his accolades. That's why he got to go back to, oh, I did this at 135, 140. Because he know what Earl Spence is. He know what that man is. He know Earl Spence fighting killers. He know that. That's why he got to go back. Because if he didn't, if, if if he felt like he was fighting better competition, he wouldn't even bring up stuff from the past. He wouldn't even, he, he wouldn't care. You feel me? That would be nothing that turns but Crawford need to bring up. He, 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 he wouldn't need to bring it up. It'd be one of those things where he'd be like, man. Mm. Don't matter to me. I don't care who he fought. You know what I'm saying? Kind of how Errol is doing. Whoa, with Bud Crawford. <laughs> because Errol know, man. I f ain't doing what he's talking about, man. I fought him, him, and him. This motherfucker talking about he fought. He talking about stuff from 1972. Man, look, bro. <laughs> I fought this dude, this dude, this dude. You know. Bud know. But like I said, it was strategically done. So a lot of y'all Bud buddies are hanging your hat on that. Oh, El Spence, he got to fight bu Boots. And, you know, he got to fight Boots. And, you know, uh, if he, he, you know, he got 120 days to fight Boots. And if he don't fight Boots, then, you know, he got to vacate that belt. That's what y'all want. Because then, if that happens, let's just say hypothetically, El Spence don't fight Boots, right? And he has to vacate his belt. Right? Who gonna be the first to try to scoop that belt up? 
Terrence Crawford, right? It's all strategy, right? It's all strategy. Now, L. Spencer posted a tweet, and he just put April. That's what he put. April. Which means he going to be back in April. You know what I'm saying? So, nine times out of ten, if he ain't fighting Terrence Crawford, he's going to be fighting Jan Boots Ennis. Or possibly Keith Thurman. You never know. You may have to fight Keith Thurman first and then go fight Boots. You know? Because the pecking order is the WBC is first. Right? I don't care what the IBF say. The WBC is over all of them. And all these sanctioned bodies work together. Right? So, like I said, if anything, they're going to make Errol probably fight Keith Thurman. If he stays at 147, Errol probably going to fight Keith Thurman. You know what I mean? That's just that's just what it is. More money in that fight. It's you know it's it's a little beef because Keith Thurman ain't give her his opportunity. But the fight gonna make a lot of money because Keith talk a lot and it's gonna sell, right? That's just what it is. That's just how it's gonna be. But Bud Crawford thought, hmm, and he's still thinking. You know, while he over there in Thailand, he over there like man, yeah, you gonna have to fight this. I ain't gotta fight no tough competition. Errol got to fight Boots. And the crazy thing is, y'all, Bud Buddies kill me. Y'all are celebrating the fact that Errol Spence got to fight Boots in this and Keith Thurman and, you know, Virgil Ortiz are standing on as the winner of that fight. Y'all are celebrating that stuff. But y'all now hoping for Bud to get fights like that. That's what kills me, bro. Y'all are hope. Y'all not even... Look, I want L. Spence to fight Boots. I want L. Spence in there with Virgil Ortiz. I want L. Spence in there with Bud Crawford, Keith. Th That's what I want. Because when you the best, you fight the best. Y'all Bud buddies kill me, bro. All of y'all sitting here talking about, oh, L. Spence got to fight Boots. And, he, you know, yeah, he going to have to fight Boots. Okay? That's what I want him to do. I'm pretty sure he want that, too. See, Earl Spence ain't running for no smoke. He not looking back and like, oh, I'm going to fight. Uh, I'm going to go back there and fight. Uh, you know, he, he ain't doing that. He fighting dogs. He fighting killers. That's what it is. That's what he doing. You know what I'm saying? He getting in there with the neck. If you claim you're a top fighter, Earl want to be in there with you. You see what I'm saying? But Earl trying to become undisputed. He looking at who got a belt. And Terrence Crawford got that other damn belt. You feel me? But like I said before, we'll see if Terrence Crawford wants to come to the table and get in that damn ring and fight. We'll see if this man really won't smoke. You know what I mean? That's what it is. We're not here to cause confusion. We're not here to cause confusion. We're not here to, you know, play games. We're not here to, you know, run our mouth. We ain't doing that. We're here to call out Terrence Crawford and his actions. And like I said, in my opinion, I feel like Terrence Crawford dug that fight with Errol because he had the foresight. He knew Errol Spence got to fight his mandatories, and he hoping that boy lose to one of them. You know what I mean? So y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. I mean, do you agree with it? Yeah, am I right? Am I wrong? You know what I mean, I'm not opposed to any criticism. I'm running for no smoke. Like, comment, subscribe. Boss gone.